This is Chandan Yadav, working as an assistant professor in department of MBA, Cambridge Institute of Technology, Bangalore. In this video, I will try to discuss with what is my capital structure, what is the difference between capital structure and financial structure, what are the factors affecting the capital structure decisions, what are the assumptions of capital structure and what do you mean by optimum capital structure? In the word capital structure, we will try to understand what do you mean by finance? The finance is all about the sources of funds towards a business organization. We do have two major sources of funds towards a business organization. It could be in the form of long term sources of funds or it could be in terms of short term sources of funds. In terms of long term sources of funds, we do have share capital as a major source of funds as well as debentures or debt capital as a major sources of funds. What is capital structure? Capital structure is a combination of two simple words. One is capital, the other could be structure. We know what is capital. Capital is nothing but funds towards a business organization. What is structure? Structure is a proportion or a combination. The combination of share capital along with the debt capital is called as capital structure. I repeat, the combination of share capital along with the debt capital is called as capital structure. The share capital is further classified into two major broad categories, equity share capital as well as preferred share capital. The return on equity share capital is called as equity dividend. The return on preference share is called as preference dividend. Difference between equity dividend and preference dividend. I will make it very simple. The rate of dividend is fixed in the case of preference dividend. Whereas in the case of equity dividend, the rate is not fixed. More the profits, more the dividend towards the equity shareholders. What is the return on debentures? The return on debenture is nothing but interest. I repeat, the return on debentures is nothing but interest. When coming part of the cost point of view, which is less expensive, which is more expensive, the debentures are less expensive. Above that, it is preferences. It is bit more expensive when compared to the debentures interest rate. And finally, in terms of equity capital, it is more expensive from the company point of view. To understand what is capital structure and what is financial structure. The capital structure deals with long term sources of funds. When coming part to the financial structure, it includes both long term as well as short term sources of funds. The financial structure is a fully fledged inclusion of both long term and short term sources of funds. The capital structure is a part of financial structure. Capital structure is a part of financial structure. Now we will try to understand what is optimum capital structure. Optimum capital structure is a situation where the cost of capital is low or cheap when coming part of the value of firm is more. Now we will try to discuss with the assumptions of capital structure. The first assumption of capital structure is we have only two sources of funds that is your shares and debentures. The second assumption is the dividend payout ratio is 100%. What do you mean by dividend payout ratio? The company will distribute all the equity profit towards the shareholders. Company will not retain any equity profits in the name of retained earnings. If the company distributes all the returns towards the equity shareholders, it do have a positive impact on the market price of a share. The third point is the total assets do not change. The company will not make any additions or deletions in your asset structure. Neither purchase, neither sell. Fourth point is the total financing remains constant. The total amount of funds will be constant but it can change the proportions or the portfolios. Suppose there is a 50% of debt and 50% of equity, the present situation. The company can change the proportion by 60% of debt and 40% of equity. That combinations can be permitted. Fifth one, the operating profits are expected to grow. The companies due to the change in the proportions 
it do have an impact on the operating profits. The company always seeks to maximize the operating profits due to changes in the proportion of debt and equity in the capital structure. Sixth point is perpetual life of the firm. The company is expected to live for a long term. It is more or less similar to the joint stock company. It will neither liquidate or neither wind up. It continue to exist for a longer duration. This affecting capital structure. First one is financial leverage. What is financial leverage? It is usage of fixed cost security funds like preferences or debentures in a capital structure. If a company uses more debt, it is more or less it is indicating more financial leverage. The objectivity is all about to maximize a benefit towards the equity shareholders. Second one, it is growth and stability of sales. It is a minimum amount of sales the company need to generate so that it can meet its payments towards the creditors as well as interest payments. The next one is cost of capital. What is cost of capital? Cost is an expense capital. We have three different forms of capital. It could be an equity, it could be a preference, it could be a debt capital. The overall cost should be always low. Since we know the cost of debenture is low, the company need to plan in such a way that the overall cost of capital will be low so that the value of the firm can be maximum. The next point is control. Control is all about if a company requires an additional fund, the company need to plan in such a way that the existing shareholders interest or not, not diluted. If a company raises a debt capital, it's more or less, this could be a strategy behind reducing or avoiding the external parties in terms of entering to the management. Next, flexibility. Flexibility is all about usage of your convertible debentures as well as your irredeemable preferences. Next one is risk. Risk is all about uncertainty. We do have two types of risk. One could be your business risk, the next could be your financial risk. Business risk, it is a situation where which arises from the product failures or strategic failures. The financial risk, if a firm uses more amount of debt capital, the obligation in terms of payment of interest will also be more. The company need to take precautionary measures so that the obligations can be minimized. Next one, asset structure. Asset structure speaks about the proportion of your fixed assets and your current assets in, its, in your total assets. Next, legal requirements. Legal requirements speaks about the clauses or, or regulations framed by the government in order to issue the securities for the public subscription. Next one, it is a duration. Duration speaks about the time. If a company requires a finance for a lesser time, the company can go behind your debt capital. If a company is willing to have finance for a longer duration, the company is advisable to go behind your equity capital. Next one is purpose of finance. Purpose of finance is nothing but intention behind finance. What is the reason behind finance? If a company is seeking for a productive purpose, it can go behind your debt capital. If a company is going behind your development purpose, it takes a longer time so that the company is advisable to go behind equity capital. Next one, cost of flotation. The flotation is nothing but an issue expenses. Generally, the cost of flotation with respect to the debentures is low when compared to the cost of equity issue. Next one, it is your investor requirements. Investor requirements, we do have different types of investors towards the company. It could be your debentures, it could be your equity investors. If going behind your debentures, the debenture investors requirement is all about they expect minimum risk with minimum return whereas coming, coming part of the equity investors they always expect maximum return with maximum risk. This could be the factors which affects the capital structure.